Namaste. working on another trip to Nepal pretty soon and um, one of the things that I wanted to do on this trip is to have more um, clothes that are similar to Nepali style, Nepali fashion. I, I think Nepali clothes are so pretty. They're colorful, they're very comfortable. What more could you want? Um, but I'm working on uh, sewing a few of the salvars but I have a friend from India who is loaning me some clothes to take with me because Nepali fashion and Indian fashion are very similar. And I wanted to show them to you. I just got them this week. So this is so cool. So I thought I was going to unpack the bag with you here. I put some of my favorites in here to show you because she gave me like two big plastic bags full of stuff so I can't take all of that with me so I picked out my favorites so um, these are called salvars they are um, you get like a top and a bottom and this is just the top of one of them let's see this would be like an everyday type of thing it's a cotton it's super comfortable and you would just wear it on top of either the bottom to a salvar, or with this it doesn't have a bottom, it would go over top of, of jeans or leggings or something like that. They have like this slit on either side that goes up to about hips, hip length and um, makes them super comfortable to wear. Uh, this, she told me, is something that I probably won't wear because she says this is more of an older style for somebody who's, I don't know, maybe in their... Uh, not like not like a young person, more like somebody who's got kids and, and I don't know. I don't know if it's like grandma style or if we're just talking like older mom style. But these are the bottom of the, like the pants. Do you see that beautiful like design work on the bottom? It's so pretty and it has a top that goes with it. Aww. And then every outfit you have to have a scarf to be properly dressed. So you would wear it, not like we wear it, like I feel like in the States we do this kind of thing, we do like the infinity scarf and whatever, but the way I see them wear it in Nepal, I'm not sure if this applies to India, I haven't been there yet, they wear it like this. And it comes in very handy because if you're, um, the roads are very dusty, so if it's very dusty you can kind of like cover up your hair and your face like this, so you don't get dust up in your nose after being walking around on the streets all day. I just think the colors are beautiful. I wish that... I'm, I, I'd like to kind of sort of dress like I know what the styles there are, so I don't think I'll be wearing this, since I'm not in the right age category, but I just think it's so pretty. Ah, this is so pretty. This would be something fancy, like something you would wear to church or to a nice occasion. This is the scarf that goes with it. Take a look at the embroidery on the edge of that scarf. Isn't that pretty? Like... I love the colors too. I love black and red and white. And this is the top that goes with it. Oh, isn't it pretty? I sorry, I, I'm not looking directly at the camera. I keep looking to the side where I can see myself because I'm using it like a mirror. Because I keep wanting to see these things. I love the bottom of this. So much. And it just has like ivory pants that go on the bottom. These feel really silky. I don't know if this is made of silk or not. It feels like it might be a blend. Um, and we've got a gorgeous sari. I, I didn't see as many saris in Nepal. Um, I feel like it's more its more like of an Indian thing that they borrow as far as fashion goes. But I love this one. It's not super fancy, but you kind of, you know, I have to learn how to wear it still. You gotta twist it and go around. And it has the blouse that goes with it on top. There's so much in here. This is pretty, isn't it? Ah. All right, so my battery on my camera is getting ready to die, so I don't have time to go through all this stuff, which is a shame. But I wanted to show those of you who are interested in different fashion styles some of the stuff, some of the colors, how vibrant they are. Um, and actually, if you, if you sew a little bit, these aren't too hard to, the styles aren't too hard to make. Um, the fabrics might be a little bit harder to get your hands on because some of the fabrics, um, we don't have a lot of similar stuff in the States. 
but if you, if you tried, I'm sure you could find something that's the equivalent of it. Um, and the patterns would be pretty simple to sew. Um, but there's nothing like getting it like you know already put together and pull it out of the bag and say, oh, it's so pretty. I got to see um, some of the saris my friend was showing me have actual gold threads in them. It's just amazing. Um, those kind of saris are kind of expensive, though. If you're just going uh, for a visit, you probably don't want to invest that kind of money in something like that. But anyway... So, Indian fashion, which translates into similar Nepal fashion, um, I think they wear it a little differently. I think in India, something that I've noticed in pictures anyways, they wear a lot of, of jewelry compared to the amount of jewelry I saw in Nepal, and hairstyles are a little different too. But anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed looking through some of the stuff that was in that bag with me, and um, I can't wait to show you um, videos from my actual trip. I hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Namaste.